Can I ask about the painting? Yeah. How's it going? Because I haven't really seen anything. I've seen like snippets early, but I was obviously trying to hold myself back from seeing anything. Well, that's great. And um, my wife said that I'm, she, she thinks I look like my dad, <laughs> um, which, which is not a bad thing, but I mean, um, how, how, how am I going? I mean, how's my, is my hair looking good? Am I happy or surly? Like, what, 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 what kind of Jamie have you gone for, Johnny Yo? Um, that's a very good question. Whenever you're working on my hair, I can yeah. definitely do some fabulous things. Well, the embarrassing but, um, thing is, the way I, I, I framed it, we actually don't get your quiff in it. Actually, if I'm starting again, I might have just redone it differently. But certainly you've got plenty of hair. It's sort of like, sort of like you know, halfway up it downwards. Um, I think I could do it a little bit more to make it more precisely your hair, because it's quite distinctive. And, and things like where the, where the hairline, where the forehead meets the hair is also very particular to people. And so I tend to put my, my majority of the energy into the, the kind of facial the features face. and expressions early on and then gradually radiated outwards. What actual stage are we in? Because um, I, no, yeah. I, I have no idea what you're looking at. So what, what if like start is one and finish is 10, like what part of the painting are we at? I reckon about seven or eight. Uh, it's definitely kind of, you know, it's, it's fleshed out a lot. So I think the kind of, you know, um, the last episode that we shared, actually Sheba said, oh, don't put the time lapse on, on your social media yet. It doesn't look like him enough yet. Um, and actually, I think since this, that one, we did one more sitting and I did some work on it and it looks quite different now. Um, so I feel like it's definitely, you know, it's definitely you, but I feel like the expressions, because I know you, I can layer a bit more into it. I feel I'm at the stage where I've got, you know, it's broadly you, but I'm now trying to kind of make sort of in the stage of fine tuning it. And it might happen really quickly, or I might come back tomorrow and see I've done a few things wrong and it needs some more. Um, uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, it might be that this is the last full sitting we have to do. And that's over the next time could be just, you know, checking things are right and then showing it to you. I mean, I think I like the idea of surprising people with it when it's close to being finished uh, uh, or when it's finished, but, all, but sometimes you don't really know uh, until you get the reaction, particularly if people well, close I, to you. Well, it won't be long. We, we can do actually a live sitting at some yeah. stage, but I guess that would defeat the object of the, the experiment, <laughs> right? Well, I mean, I guess the other thing we could do is, 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 is do the reveal live. I mean, that might be quite fun. So you kind yeah. of come around here to see it. On the other hand, you know, uh, it, yeah, the whole thing has been, you know, we've done it across a screen. You know, people are watching it on a screen. So there is something that's very kind of authentic to this whole process about all that. I've just been uh, given your app. Oh yeah. Your 3D app has like blown my mind. It's quite cool, isn't it? It's amazing. And to be in your room, I mean, I've only done it for five minutes because I was juggling other jobs, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually, it's quite voyeuristic. Mm. I can see that technology getting misused, Johnny. Yo. <laughs> Not by us though. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And I think the, um, uh, what works really well is because the studio really is based on the actual studio and has had a lot of effort gone into it. Um, it's really, yeah, I've, I've, the few people who've tried it spent, quite a lot of time just, you know, just looking around the studio and checking it all out because it's a way of really you know, um, nosing around. When does the whole world get to sort of use it or see it? Well, I mean, in a, it's a good question. In an ideal world, we'll have it ready by the time this sitting goes out. Um, so really? when people are watching this, hopefully we'll already have it. And so, you know, I'm sure we can post some clever link where people can get it, but we have to get it finished and sort of I think it's got to be approved by the app store and all that kind of thing and so there are a few little kind of hurdles to go over but if it's not ready for this one obviously we'll cut this bit out <laughs> um, so um, and it's just a fun thing I thought well actually if people have been watching this to actually have a sort of chance to we won't do the you know, all the episodes in every detail but to be able to come and experience a bit of it as if you're in the room um, I think it's quite a cool thing and, and it's yeah this is basically very sort of new technology which I think will become more normal as we go along <laughs>
No, it's good though. I mean, it's nice to see. I mean, it, it's, it's always nice to use technology to, let's call it, break down the fourth wall, right? Um, and m most people in the world of art only ever have seen the finished product, right? Yeah. And, yeah. like, if only the walls could speak. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, and of course, every artist, whatever they may be, has got a different tale. Yeah. Um, yes. So to be able to see your room and what else is in the room and how it's positioned and where the windows are and like how your station is set up, it, it is, it's like really fascinating. And um, it's, it's funny, quite private. It? It's quite private, actually. It's quite, it's quite generous that you're letting people see this. Um, I'm not sure if all artists would want it. <laughs> well, there's certainly... Because there's a lot of photocopiers going on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and screen prints. <laughs> and a hundred other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's interesting, isn't it? There's a sort of intimacy you get from a sense of being in, in this sort of studio space, in someone's space. And obviously your own space, you know, to all of us, it's, it's, it's normal for you. So you think, well, what's interesting about that? But of course, whenever I want to, you know, whenever I'm interested in an artist, one of the most interesting things is seeing what their studio was like and how they were set up to work and, you know, how much mess they made and what else was there and what they were looking at, you know, that maybe gave them ideas when they weren't looking at the painting or whatever it, the work is they're doing. And so I think it is, it's a lovely resource, you know, um, yeah, it's an interesting thing for people now, but it's, a, I think, an even more interesting thing in the future for people to ha be able to access this sort of thing. Yeah, I think, like, for us, like, we, we try and, in, in sometimes in crude ways, we invent technology. So um, in a classic Jamie Oliver way, I'll get an angle grinder and cut the side off an oven and then, you know, glue in with heat proof glue some bulletproof glass and allow ourselves to see within the oven and see what happens when a Yorkshire pudding's rising or you know something's happening um, uh, so you can be quite brash about that or you just cut a cut a frying pan in half so you can get a you can get a camera right in there yeah I think any way that helps you to understand what the bloody hell's going on when it comes to cooking right you know it's quite hard to describe what creating a gnarly bark on a steak is. You kind of have to show it. And to show it, you've got to get in the pan. And to get in the pan, you might have to cut the pan in half. Do you want me to walk out? Uh, yeah, should we do that actually? Okay. Um, so let me see let if I can make it work. Out. I'm just going to show you. So it's it's not it's not it's not quite there yet, but it's sort of like I'd say sort of like two thirds to three quarters done. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, nice. Oh. That's what did you say? Nice. So good. He said, "Funny, but it's so good." Oh, good. It feels like he's a bit more sort of thoughtful, more than playful. Yeah. But I think it's good to have a bit of both. I think um, I, I think for me, there's something around about this eye here that isn't quite right. Yes. And there's something about the face, the sort of like from the sort of lower lip down and to the yes. side, which isn't quite right. And the hairline isn't is sort of like no, isn't quite right. Yeah. It's not hair no, and your hair's not no. quite right yet. Yeah. You're fair. Mind you, you're he's much more mature than you know. He he, he I, I, he's quite worried about his hair today. I don't know if he's had any clumps falling out in the shower or anything. He's mentioned it several times. Cool. Yeah, it's the image. It's brilliant, Johnny. Brilliant. Okay, you're brilliant. Thank you for that. Do you want him back? Jamie? Yeah, am I allowed to come back? Yeah, it's, it's time around now. You turn around. Um, they were good noises, weren't they? Yeah, they're encouraging. That's good. Wow. Hopefully this... Come then, you let me sit down for Johnny because oh. he's got to concentrate because he's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you two. Oh. I'm quite fancy oh. just talking to Johnny. Isn't you? Okay, well, good to see you guys. <laughs> Well, I think like, what's quite interesting about these sittings, I mean, other than you're proving that you can do your thing via, thanks buds, the internet, which is, you know, at the level that I presume you would do it, but um, it has been funny sort of, you're trying to do a sitting with me and there's all these members of the family trotting through. <laughs> yes, uh, and that wouldn't normally um, you wouldn't get that benefit normally of people dipping in. I think, you know, very occasionally someone will bring someone along to sort of sit through the whole 
sitting and that can be fine or it can be a bit of a distraction. But the idea of having a little bit of interaction with other people actually, I never, it hadn't really occurred to me before that that's an extra little layer to the whole thing and a benefit. Um, and as you said, I mean, it's interesting thinking these things. I mean, it's definitely, it's a different, it's a slightly different thing than if you've got endless amounts of time and you're doing it in the flesh. But it's certainly, it kind of forces you to work in a certain way, which is really kind of, a, which is actually really appealing. It's just, it kind of gives the whole thing an energy. In my project that I'm doing at the moment, which is kind of almost like, do you know when we did the lockdown show on my phone, rough and ready, like this show is kind of like an antidote to that. So it's very lush, very calm, like supposed to feel like a culinary massage really. So, and we're really leaning on nature. Cause I, I think a lot of people have like maybe looked up for a change. Do you know, mm. do you know how you just look forward all the time? Yeah. I think in lockdown, people have been looking up a bit more. I think they've been finding green spaces wherever they may be with more vigor and passion. So I think that possibly, like definitely with like, but we know that with buying habits, people are changing. They're starting to like, they've, they've been cooking more. They've been trying new things. Um, and I think certainly in my program, it's not just about the cooking. It's, you know, I'm, I'm looking at recipes that make us feel a certain way. At the same time, you know, like last week, I think, Every recipe that I shot was between 60 pence and a pound 10 a portion. Hmm. So there's cost. That's really important. We're going into a recession. Yeah. It, it actually wasn't intentional, but I, I'm pretty rigorous these days. There's health, immune system, you know, the whole kind of thing going on with COVID. Then there's how, there's, then there's how the food makes us feel. You know, does, it, does that make you feel like cozy and warm or you know what I mean I'm just trying to make my audience feel a certain way and and uh hopefully I get it right I might not um I'm putting all my eggs in one basket so I, I've got no <laughs> they'll either love it or hate it do you find do you, do you get responses from people um you know uh can, do you, can you map the world in terms of different approaches to things? Or is it hard, or can you not sort of generalise in that way? I think you probably could because every culture natively has a different approach to life in general. Um, and it's not just as simple as cooking a recipe, it's, it's also the way they approach older people, uh, women, um, like hierarchies in aristocracy, middle classes, this, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's complex what makes a population have you know sort of va va voom and creativity or kind of precision and respect and you know some are like fast burners and some are slow burners and yeah I, 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 and then of course many affected by temperature geography weather heat access you know if you take a country like Peru you know they've pretty much got every kind of type of growing on the planet in one country um, and, um, you know, Northern Europe acts in a fairly consistent way. And, um, if you go to Australia, you've only got to look at your mates in Australia on Christmas day to see the difference of, of what's going on. You probably could map it a little bit and I rather like it. I have to say, yeah. I think, I don't know about you, but I, I like fruitcakes. I like ultra precision. I like sort of self-indulgent. I, I like different types of people and different types of cultures and I quite like getting into it when I go to those countries. Also, like, you can't just burn all the time. You've got to fill up. Hey, look, I, I, I think, I'm the, I think it's, I'm, 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 I've done enough for today. I feel like it's like, kind of, feel like it's 90% there. Um, really? I'll, I'll know better when it's if I've had a look at it in the morning. It might be a bit, it might be a I bit more I was excited to hear Jules's reaction. She sounded, yeah. and Buddy said it was amazing. So that's good. Well, that's he's, good. He's, yeah, the, I mean, the, the kids, the kids are, I think. Buddy's the, no slouch. He knows the drill. And uh, I mean, also, he, he, now he's a seasoned t TV professional. He might be kind of like, actually a bit more conscious of being filmed. But generally the kids um, don't, you know, don't worry about niceties. If they don't like something, they, kind of, they don't cover it up um, in the same way. Um, well, so that's good. So that makes me feel like it's definitely kind of, you know, getting in the right zone. I, 
I feel like I corrected, slightly corrected some of the things that were wrong and it's great to have that reaction from Jules and Buddy that it was, um, that it's along the right lines. What is nice is I think it's a sort of, it's different from the other um, lockdown and FaceTime portraits. Uh, stylistically, it's definitely um, uh, got, a, got an energy about it. But yeah, I think this is all right. Cool. Well, look, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.